guys, this is Denise. Denise? <laughs> this is Denise right here. I'm Denise. And I'm Danette. The guy's Danette. Yes, we were Perry on Farms. Of course, if you've watched us, you know who we are. Um, man, ever since we come back from Petals from the Past, it kind of lit a fire in us, didn't it, sister? Creative minds have been going 100 miles an hour. 100 miles an hour on um, you know what we wanted to plant of course we you know we've already shown you our um what we have in the garden the potatoes the onions um you'll, you'll be seeing a video of um eric harvesting our, our broccoli and all it, it should be coming up or maybe it's already posted can't remember it's not posted yet I know it's not posted yet now but by the time you see this video it might have already been posted um anyway but we've been back from petals for a couple weeks now and we bought some flowers I got some vinca and I, was, I wanted to show you where I planted all that I bought some geraniums and so did Erica what flowers did you buy from there? Did you get? I just I got my uh, drift rose roses. Uh, oh, okay. She got her some some drift rose roses. I picked up. I wanted to get some oak trees planted in the yard for shade. Um, we have the cedar trees. I'm not a fan of those. Um, they're just old and they're they, big. They're old and they're they big. They provide shade. They do provide shade. And I, and I know that people are going to say it's going to take years. You won't reap the benefit of the shade of the oak trees. But I think we, we um, it's been said already, but our, our grandkids will be able to enjoy those oaks. They're so historic. They are. So Majestic, I, picked, I think, is the word. Right, majestic. So I, I got one. It's called a Schumard oak from from um, House from the Past. And I should have picked up more up there, but I didn't really think about it because I had not really figured out where I was going to put these. And after coming back home and looking at our yard and the layout of our yard and stuff like that, and researching how much distance. You know they needed to be apart from each other I, my final decision was to plant them along the, the the one i got let me back up just a little bit yeah because i only had one um i knew i needed more because my decision was to plant them plant them up my driveway on one side that has nothing and um so i knew that i needed some more schumard oak trees. I had the one from Pestle and Pass. And so we made a decision, the guys and I, Jason and Stumpy, um, and you'll see in our video where we went to this beautiful local nursery called Buds and Blossoms. And um, we purchased some more oak trees, Jamar. But here's the thing. We found them in the 75 percent lot that they have there <laughs> we did and so that day and i don't even remember what day it was it's one day last week probably wasn't it we, we went and, and i picked up four more trees three more shamards and i got a and i didn't do the research on this one before a, a, a sawtooth oak um and after I got home, oh, and I got them, four trees for $43. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Um, and you've seen the pictures of the trees, how big they were. Um, and so, anyway, I was so excited to find the 75% lot or area at our, our local nursery. I shared with Denise, and then she got excited the next day. <laughs> And uh, we, we, I want to share the video with you. Well, I'll tell you, for the longest time, I've been wanting to plant some more live oaks on yeah. our property. Right. And so I've been searching. 
the outskirts of the woods and where I see live oaks trying to find maybe a little twig of an oak that's right. coming up that I could get. Now, right. I did find two a couple years ago and I planted them on both sides of my driveway. We'll okay. share a picture. We'll share a picture. Um, back then, one of them didn't make it, the other one did. The other one is now about four foot tall. Yeah. Yeah. It made it. So, I, since then, I've been looking and trying different varieties of, of oaks to see if I could get some to. And none have really made none it. None have really made it. I got one that's probably going to make it. Okay. That I've just found out on the outskirts of our property and I've dug it up and brought it back and planted it in the ground. But so when she told me that she found these oak trees in the 75% off lot, <laughs> so I was extremely excited. So we went, well, that evening I researched the sawtooth oak. Let me just say this. Mm -hmm. And it's an excellent um, wildlife attractor. Um, so then I got to thinking it produces, and I, and I, um, it produces these acorns that look like little fireballs. And um, so I think we talked to each other and we talked to guys and we thought it would be a good tree to plant for shade for the hog pen because they don't have much shade. Um, plus when the acorns fall, they will be able to enjoy the acorns. Yes. There. Mm -hmm. My only concern is that's very close to the garden. And so, but I think we've decided that we keep it pretty much clean there. We plow the garden all the time. We do plow the garden and we always we cut the grass cut, around the hog. Yeah. Right. And so that wouldn't give those um, sawtooths, they're very invasive like privet. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't give them time to, you know, grow up. They did have a privet bush. Yeah, but you can get that wild. I know. You can get that wild. Anyway. <gasps> but it was already full grown. I mean, well grown and I thought oh but yeah so tell them what we did find though that I'm thinking about driving over and picking them up that is in our video our other video that you and I did too true. Mm. it is in the one I watched it um but anyway so anyway with that Denise learned about the the deals and um I'm going to show you the video of what we come away with from the uh from that day when she went. <laughs> Sister and I had to come back to Buds and Blossoms mm -hmm. and visit their 75% off. I came and I got what I wanted. Didn't spend any more. I wanted to buy so much more. They I had, had patient. right? Patience, Lord, patience. They had. We've actually found um, some live oaks, mm -hmm. which was really what I wanted because of, it's an evergreen. Um, and so I got me a live oak, and she got her a live oak and a willow oak and a willow oak. But anyway, another. Another successful trip to the 75% off lot at Buds and Blossoms. Um, they are probably our second, have become our second favorite nursery. And it's well, like, locally, probably lo number one. Oh, yeah, well, definitely locally, number one. But we can't make trips all the time to Petals from the Past. So, anyway, we had to come back today. And as you I see, I really could have hurt myself. They even had ferns. Absolutely, buy one, get, one, get one free. So they were fifteen dollars a piece. I could have just sat amongst all of those. <laughs> so as you can tell, we loaded up again. Never doubt determined women. We planted. Who can find a sale? Who can find a sale? We, when we when we got there, there was some um, tea tree. Olive. olive trees. A tea we, olive trees. A tea olive tree. That's exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. um, and when we know, I know I said that we are, I was going to try to make it back, but I, I have not been able to make it back. We're hoping they're still there. We're hoping they're still there. We might go today and look. We're out running some errands. 
We gotta get our license renewed. But, yep, our license. Our birthday is this week. Yeah, our birthday. And um, we um, are, are just gonna run some ads real quick because we are going to be going just the guys and us two girls are going on a trip for our birthday <sighs> just to relax we don't do that that often i think the last time the four of us took a relaxing trip together is when we went up to northern georgia to the mountains up there oh blue ridge yeah with terry and daniel was that it yeah. yes that's the lot with the six couples yeah that's six couples time. That was three couples. Oh, sorry, three couples, six people. Exactly. So anyway, we um, we're out running errands today. I wanted to show you the trees. Now, Erica has. Uh, you heard us talk about in the Pals from the Past video. Jace is building these raised beds for us, for his wife, and for the family. And he's even he's even made some to sell. But, um, um, Erica has already, and I'm going to go over there and show you, she's got her, um, herbs that Tracy blessed her with already planted in her raised bed. Oh, I didn't realize that. Right. Um, and then the muscadine and the, um, grape trees, we decided that we were going to plant in Erica's yard. The first night they were planted, though, daggummit, something came in the night and, and, uh, pulled it pulled it up so they've had to put some hardware cloth around it to keep it I don't know if it was a dog or something else but anyway um, we've got those planted. I'm gonna show you I'm gonna update you on all the stuff that we purchased from but um, pencil the past and the things that we've got for buds and blossoms but it's just this time of year it's exciting and I know many of our listeners man y'all share Y'all live vicariously, I think, through our spring because y'all have such a short season. And it's y'all usually are not enjoying this kind of weather until the end of May and then 1st of June. And so, but, man, every year we get so excited about it, don't we, sister? Mm -hmm. Every year. And so, um, I wanted to update you and show you all the things and, and, and where we've placed mm -hmm. them all. Mm -hmm. Um I know that I haven't gotten my herbs in the ground yet. I'm still trying to decide on where I want to plant them. Where's the best place? Doing my research. Um, and uh, we got to work on our Persia bed. We think we've decided where we're going to put it. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, just a little update on spread excitement. Mm -hmm. Planting trees. Mm -hmm. Planting flowers. Yeah. Makes us very happy. Yeah. Makes us very happy. And, you know, and... The flowers are for multi-purpose, you know, they bring the bees to pollinate everything and um, of course it does help the spirit of seeing all those beautiful colors and stuff out in the garden mm -hmm. and all that. Plus when certain certain things die off, you know, some of the animals might can eat what, what dies off, some of it, you know. Of course we'll do our research and make sure we don't feed our animals anything that's going to cause harm to them. But I, um, um, you know, multi-purpose on these flowers. Of course, the Potage Garden is to grow our herbs and to help make tinctures and and that is cook, something we want to venture out in. Yeah, yeah. Um, all those things. So it's just a, a new step that us ladies on the farm want to get into. We're hoping that um, become knowledgeable in that. Yes. Herbs and be successful for our families and what benefit for good gut health for immune boosters and uh, even diabetes, you know, as Stumpy was recently diagnosed with that. Yeah. yeah. So, but uh, anyway, um, y'all just enjoy our videos and uh, what we, what we, what we're doing here on the farm right now. Okay, so here's where I planted some of my vinca that I got from Petals from the Past. I put it in the pot here right by the, where we walk out. And then, uh, my red geraniums are here. I put in a pot by my uh, in my flower bed next to the porch. I'll show you where I put the other the other vinca. Um, no judgment on the grass because it's going to be cut soon. But there's where I did my. This is the other side of the porch, and I put my other vinca out here. Kind of, it's, it's 
scattered it out and then my other geranium is in there um, that I got for Pills from the Past and they're doing very good. Uh, my dang amaryllis are blooming. My, uh, excuse me, they've already bloomed. But look here, my daylilies are starting to pop. This one over here looks especially lovely. But right here, look at that daylily, isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. And then of course right out here is where um, our four fig trees that we got last year from Petals from the Past, and they're doing great. This one in particular right here has survived being run over a couple times by Levi. <laughs> And then they've all survived the frost and they're doing very, very well. This is still all of my herbs that I got from Tracy. I'm still waiting on my, um, my beds to be made um, and where in my flower beds that I want to plant these. So um, I'm just keeping them watered here um, and in the next few days they'll be in, uh, planted somewhere. Um, right here, this is I'm, I'm driving down the driveway, and this is where I planted my my oats. My, there's three of them here, and I love these. I want you to look at the um, the leaves. Come here, boys. No, nope. come here, come here. Look at the leaves on these shimmered oaks. They're beautiful, beautiful leaves. Um. And look at the colors that they, they have. But there's three planted here. There's one there, one here, and one there. And I planted them a good 30 feet apart. And then I plant apart, 30 feet apart. And then I planted the fourth shermard right over there. Uh, so that when they come up, they'll provide this area with a lot of shade. This is where Eric parts his work truck on the other side over there. So I figured this would be a good spot because the sun comes up over and that goes straight behind me here um, on the house. Um, but um, I'm excited about this here. I'm just going to create some more shade. Okay, I'm at the end of the blackberry bed. And this is where we planted. This is called... This is called... Um, make sure I can't say it right. It's a weeping mulberry tree. And so I, I, we planted it. It got some good rain. We clipped the top there. And uh, we're going to watch it grow right here on the end. So this is one of the trees that we got at Petals from the Past. It is a Meyer lemon tree. Mm -hmm. And we chose to plant it out here in front of the smokehouse. That way, in a, container. in a container, it can stay in this container probably two years. Yeah. That gives um, us time to see where the sun is going and setting right. and stuff, and that we put it in the best location possible. Now, our, we got a dinner plate, hibiscus, mm -hmm. and another hibiscus. Yeah. So we have two, me. and they're going to go, me. we're going to put them in this flower bed here. Yeah. Probably let, let them grow up around the, the... So now we're going over to Denise's house, and we're going to show you, which is just next door. Still part of the farm. <laughs> Um, and show you the things that she got and where she ended up planting them. And all. You can't go to Pills from the Past without getting goodies. Right. And so right here, right there are the, those are the dwarf red, rose. Red drift rose uh, bushes and they're low ground cover. Let me get closer and show you how pretty they are. Yes, yeah, this is Yeah. There they go. Aren't they pretty? They're tiny and they, and they stay low. Low. Mmm, you can smell them. Yes, they are pretty. So she got those. This is my live oak. Well, out here next to her driveway, there's the tree. I was talking about that I uprooted and planted from a probably a three, four inch shoot I found on the property that I dug up and moved out here and look how tall it is. I will have to walk up to it and let you see. See this oak tree? It's been there 
100 years. <laughs> for as long as we can remember. And, and before, there used to be a tree line on the side of that fence that you couldn't see on the other side. But that tree stayed when we cleared it because we just love the oaks. And so, so when you see down in front of the pond, the, the wetlands. Yeah, right down on there. On this side of the wetlands where the oak tree was planted were multiple um, cedar trees. Yeah, there were cedar trees planted I mean, all right here. four cedar trees all right there. Yep. And when Hurricane Michael came through, we stood on our porch and watched every one of them get knocked down. So I wanted to plant some more trees here so that um, we would have shade and we would, and I love the live oaks and I wanted to make just a canopy right here. So this is the live oak that I got at clearance from uh, from a We pay $10 for that, guys. $10, see, and it's, it's already maybe a couple years old, at least, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And then this one over here is mm -hmm. taller than me. Let's go over there and show them how. So this was just a little shoot, maybe like that, when I found it. And I put it in the ground with a stob to mark it and put rabbit poo around it and have watered it to death. And then this year I put some more rabbit poo around it. And look at it. I mean, gosh, I'm so proud of myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because live oaks are not easy to find. I mean, you could find all the other types of oak trees everywhere, but live oak little little ones are hard to find mm -hmm. for us here on the farm. And so I, I transplanted this and look at here, we're gonna have shade on this thing. I'm so happy. So maybe when the two trees grow up and they, canopy here. It'd be a nice, beautiful um, shade canopy for us. So this is, this is, this makes me happy. So we'll show you the other oak tree that I got. It's called a willow oak and it, I planted it down here close to the water. I'm going to go show you that. So my <laughs> right here is, if you could see it okay, is one of the little trees I found on the side of the tree line. It was pretty big, so it's making it. It's just a, it's just a little shoot. And that's basically what my live oak looked at like when I planted it. Oh, really? Yeah, isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. And that tree's been over there probably three, three years. Mm -hmm. No, actually probably longer than that. It's done. So here is my willow oak that I planted. And it, it does well close to water. Do you see the creek right there close by? Right there. Right there. And so this is what's called a willow oak. It'll it'll have a pretty canopy when it grows, too. So we've got that there, and uh, the leaves are just a little bit different yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, oh, and Danette's oak tree is still in the pot up here. Yeah, so. I've got to figure out. I got my live oaks up there and leaning against Denise's, and I got the sawtooth. I got to put in the ground. Yeah. Did we show the stuff on your back porch already? Um, so I still have one more live oak. I got to figure out where to put it. It's right here. You can see it right here. And I've got to figure out where I want to plant it. Mm -hmm. uh, Stumpy is not excited about it. <laughs> More trees. More trees. But uh, but the shade is so beautiful. See these big cedar trees? Yeah, this these is cedar trees. Were, um, were. There's, there's one, two, three, four of them still standing. Uh, two in Denise's yard and three in my yard. And as she goes, we're gonna go over to Erica's and show her the, um, the show y'all the her what she's done with her herbs but let's head on over there Denise but these uh, these uh, cedar trees they're huge and you can imagine there were four of them on the other side about the same size right and so you can see that that was some damage um, I had actually had more than that in my yard but um, but um, thanks to the storms um, they were taken out. So, um, anyway, we're coming over here and we're going to show you where we decided to put, oh, the grape vines. And we're going to build, we have uh, plans of building trellises and the muscadines. So, we're at Erica's house, which is across the street from, actually from our house. So, this is uh, a grace, grape or it's a grape seedless hemrod that they planted there. And this one actually was uprooted, so they had to put fencing around it. 
Um, let's see what this one is. This is probably this one's probably the other grape here. Let's see. Uh, uh, yes, this would be a grape blueberry here, and they're going to build trellis for this one to go this way for them to come up and connect. And then over here are the muscadines that that, that we planted right here and right there, and then they'll build another trellis here. Now let's come over here. And let me show you. Okay, so you remember. Y'all remember um, us telling Tracy about the wood that we can get um, at a local sawmill. Look at these beds that Jace has made. Aren't they beautiful? And they're rough edge cut, so they're a little rustic, has a little character. Um, Erica, she's been the only one <laughs> that's uh, gotten her herbs in the ground. But look right here. You've got um, echinacea right here. Um, you've got lemon balm right there. Uh, you got catnip right there. This is her hops. She put her hops here. She's gonna put a trellis up right here where her hops can grow up. Um, she put her uh, fever, fever few right here, which I think spreads, if I'm not mistaken. So she'll have to keep an eye on it. Um, but anyway. This is, I'm thinking this was, I can't remember what she said this was. Oh, your marshmallow. Yeah, your marshmallow plant. And then this was her, oh, her mandarin lemon orange. Lemon balm there. And then here is her bee balm. And so she's got all of her herbs growing right here in this bed. Um, they're looking good. They haven't really suffered any shock. Man, they look great. And uh, and all. And then they planted a. Um, I think this is an elderberry. an elderberry tree that she's planted. I think we're gonna make farmers out of them. Look, you can already see blooms on the elderberry there that are coming up. But they're doing really, really good. Um, let me see exactly what kind this is. It's just an elderberry. That's right. Have we covered everything, sister, that we got from Petals for the Past? I think so. We never did. Oh, our fig, our fig tree. Oh, yes. Denise and them, they do have a fig. We never made it back. We ever show this cactus thing? Oh. I want you to look at this. This is something that grows in Danette's yard. But look what it does this time of year. Look at these beautiful flowers. Mm-hmm. Aren't they gorgeous? You uh, don't want to touch it, though. No. My uh, friend, uh, Kelly says that is a very beneficial plant to have on the farm. So we're going to figure out what we can do with that. Um, you can eat, I think, the, the purple blooms that come on in, in the fall, I think, mm -hmm. and see what she says about it. But Yeah, but that thing is gargantuous. It is huge. There's no telling how old it is. It was here when we moved here, and we haven't trimmed it. Because anytime you drive by it on the lawnmower, you always end up... <laughs> With it's got pricklies and it hurts. The pricklies. Mm -hmm. It hurts. Exactly. So, but like I said, we never did make it back over to the 75% off lot. No, nope. we? we will. Maybe one day next week. Let's see. We will let you know if we do. So, look who's here. Check. Hey, honey. There's Eric. He's We're looking. Doing, showing everybody all of the updates on all of our. Goodies we got, goodies from, petals we got from, from petals from the past and buds and blossoms. Oh, I got you. Yeah. And that's what we got from up there, right? Yes. Okay, um, so what we got, Eric? This is the white Marcel, and it is a it's a honey pig. And um, um, Randall uh, from Flumerton Famous told me, I, I said, well, I'd like to try a honey pig, and he he said the white Marcel is a great one. Uh, there's another one that he has on his property that's a good one, but they didn't have it at the uh, at the petals uh, from the past. But he said the white Marcel is a good one. This was um, this was Thomas Jefferson's favorite pig. He brought it over. Oh, um, we got a little bit of history there. Yeah. He brought it over um, from overseas, I believe in France, because he loved that pig. So, but there goes the tractor. So we're going to try it and see 
It's a fig that you eat. You don't eat the skin. You break open the fig and eat it. From what I understand, the skin can be a little bitter, but the fig inside uh, is good. So we're gonna try it and see. Yep. See how it does. But yeah. Um, it's, it looks like it's living though. Yeah, it didn't go through any shock or anything like that. Yeah, it looks good so far. Mm -hmm. And that's a wrap, sister. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's everything we got for Pills from the Past and our most recent purchases from Buds and Blossoms. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, we're gonna put a link to Buds and Blossoms. We'll give them a huge shout out. If you're in this area and you want a good nursery, go see them. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember the girl's name, Cassie. She's very kind there, and a uh, huge shout out to them. They were super help when we went. But anyway, we appreciate you watching us today. Coming with us is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous day. Gorgeous day. And we pray that your days are full of sunshine as well. That's right. That stuff he always says. A simple life is a much more enjoyable life. God bless you. We will see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.